Hey what is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Minecraft and Game Pass. This is the Xbox Game Pass for PC. For those of you who have recently upgraded to the new Minecraft launcher, you would have noticed that there was an option to use Game Pass to be able to play all of the Minecraft games. So if you select Minecraft Java Edition or Minecraft for Windows and just scroll down, there is a post over here that says Minecraft is included in Game Pass for PC. Normally Normally I would not actually get Game Pass, however there is a special deal going on for the month of November where if you buy Game Pass you can buy that for one dollar or one pound if you're in the UK and you actually get free Game Pass for three months. So you get the one month for the one dollar and then you get two additional months as well. So what I'm actually going to do now guys, I'm going to buy the Game Pass for the one dollar, one pound option and i'm going to get it for the three months and then i'm going to cancel my subscription to make sure that it doesn't auto renew and i'm going to use paypal to do it as well so i'm going to go through the whole process and i'm going to show you guys how i did it and i'm going to show you guys what i can get after purchasing the game pass for pc and what kind of minecraft games i can get with that so as you guys can see at the moment i actually own minecraft java edition i can play this i also own minecraft for windows so technically i don't really need game pass however i do don't actually own Minecraft Dungeons and I would like to try that out so I'm going to get this option so I can actually get the Game Pass for the three months and I'll also be able to check out other games that come with Game Pass as well so to be able to actually purchase the Game Pass if you have a look at this post which says Minecraft is included in Game Pass click on read more it should open up in a new browser now you can actually go ahead and read what it says about the Minecraft being included in the Game Pass but if you do want to get it you can click on this link that says Game Pass for PC and you will notice that it actually opens into the xbox.com website interestingly this is actually Actually opening the website for the US version and because I am in the UK I need to open this for the UK version because I need to pay the one pound and not one dollar so I'm just going to go to xbox.com I'm going to click on game pass and then I'm going to click on game pass for PC like so and hopefully that should open up this option and it should show me join for one pound i'm also going to make sure that i am signed in into the xbox.com website so if you guys aren't signed in do make sure that you guys are actually signed in before you go to buy this so i'm going to click on sign in and log in with my details now all right so as you guys can see the icon has now changed to the top here and it has logged me in with my account and this is the account which i have which i own minecraft with as well I actually purchased Minecraft using my Microsoft account and that is the same account which I've just logged into the Xbox website with I'm now going to click on join for one pound over here as you guys can see it says 87% off expires in one month and what that means is that this one pound offer is basically going to expire in one month so I only have one month to buy this in and I'm going to click on join it should take you to this screen and as you guys can see it says PC one month one pound including VAT for the first month and then two month bonus time so basically I should be able to get the game pass for one pound and that should last me for the three months so I'm going to actually click on this bit here that says get started add a way to pay and i do recommend using paypal because you do get more options more security with paypal and you can recover your money easily with paypal i have actually used the credit card option in the past and i did run into some problems where microsoft actually used my card details to purchase another piece of software which i did not give permission to so i'm not going to actually do that today i'm going to use the paypal option because i do find that is more secure and more safety for the buyer so i'm going to click on paypal i'm then going to click on this sign into paypal option and then i'm going to actually enter my paypal details so let's wait for that to now load us into the paypal website all right, so once you've actually logged into PayPal and selected your payment method, it should say all set. If you finish setting up your account, go back and finish your purchase. So I'm going to go back into the other tab and there is an option here that says, yes, let's wrap things up. Let's click on this and hopefully that should actually remember my PayPal information and it should allow me to purchase this. So as you guys can see, I can now click on subscribe over here, which is basically going to purchase the Game Pass for me for a one pound 
So I'm going to click on subscribe and then later on I'm actually going to unsubscribe so make sure that it does not auto renew. That is another important thing that we need to do because after the three months it's going to start charging me £7.99 I think for the ongoing months. So as you guys can see it now says thanks for joining, download the Xbox app which we already have. So I can now close this down. Alright so the next thing I'm now going to do is turn off the recurring billing option otherwise it's going to start charging me £7.99 after my three months so i'm going to click on the user icon over here and then i'm going to click on where it says my microsoft account and that should load you into your microsoft account details i'm then going to click on services and subscriptions over here after that i am going to click on this bit that says manage so as you guys can see it says recurring billing on and then it says £7.99 every month and it does also say over here next charge on the 12th of February 2022 so we do know that that is when I'm going to get charged basically which is the 12th of February I'm going to click on manage over here and then I'm going to scroll down to where it says turn off recurring billing I'm going to click into this icon over here and some of these options can be hidden which is quite annoying I don't like the way Microsoft does this you do have to actually look out for these settings otherwise you won't be able to find them if you don't look out for them now it does say turn off recurring billing for Xbox Game Pass for PC you'll lose these benefits on the 12th of February 2022 if you turn off recurring billing so I'm going to do that now I'm going to turn off the recurring billing for Xbox Game Pass there we go so now as you guys can see it does say you turned off recurring billing for your Xbox Game Pass for PC subscription. Your subscription will end on the 12th of February 2022 but you can subscribe again at any time. So let's go back into the subscription page and let's see if it does actually say that. So as you guys can see it does say subscription expires on the 11th of February 2022. Now because I actually used PayPal I need to go into my PayPal account settings and disable and delink Microsoft from my PayPal so they're not able to sneak and charge me any more money that I'm not going to basically allow them to do. So I'm going to go into a new window here and just go to the paypal.com website and then I'm going to log into my PayPal page and I'm going to show you guys how to delink the Microsoft account from your PayPal account. Alright so once you are logged into your PayPal account click on the cogwheel over here to go into your settings and then click on payments and then we can actually scroll down and we can go to manage your automatic payments and it says review the payments you've set up. So I'm going to go click on view and I'm going to try and remove Microsoft from this list. So as you guys can see I've got different companies here that are showing. I'm going to click on Microsoft and I'm going to try and remove this. So what I'm going to do now I'm going to click on cancel. So as you guys can see it does say it's active. I'm going to click on cancel over here and it's going to say cancel your future pre-approved payments to Microsoft Corporation. We're going to click on this button and that says stopped pre-approved payments and it says you're all set I'm going to click on done and now we can see that it has moved it into the inactive section now if I go back into my active section I can't actually see Microsoft on there so I've delinked Microsoft from my pre-approved payments and I've stopped the recurring billing so I am sure that when it does hit February time they should not start charging me seven pounds 99. I can now close down everything and I can go back into the Minecraft launcher and hopefully I should be able to install Minecraft dungeons. I already did own the Java edition and the Bedrock edition so now I can just click on Minecraft dungeons and it should allow me to install this. So I'm going to click on install and I'm going to install this to my C drive because I, I would recommend installing all of the Minecraft games to your C drive otherwise you might run into some technical issues. So let's go ahead and select the C drive and click on install and I'm going to wait for that to now finish and I'll be right back. Alright so the download finally finished and as you guys can see it does say included with Xbox Game Pass for PC so I do know that I can only play this game if I've got the Xbox Game Pass. If I was to click on Minecraft for Windows or Minecraft Java Edition it doesn't give me that Xbox Game Pass message at the bottom there so I do know that I can play them without the Xbox Game Pass. I also did run into a problem where my Wi-Fi did disconnect and the new Minecraft launcher was giving me an error message when I was trying to reconnect into the download. If that does happen to you all you need to do is just open up the Xbox app and you can actually go to the download section. So if we go back into the main page on the Xbox app, if you click on manage installs and then come down here, you should be able to receive your download from this section if it does disconnect on the new Minecraft launcher. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on play and see how the game runs. So now we do have access to 
all of the different versions of Minecraft. So we've got Minecraft Java Edition, we've got Minecraft for Windows 10, and we also have the Minecraft Dungeons all combined into the new Minecraft launcher, and we can use the Game Pass to play it with. All right, so let's go ahead and create an offline game, and let's load into the game mission there. Let me know what you guys think about the Xbox Game Pass for PC, and let me know if you guys are gonna take up the deal where you just pay with the $1 or the one pound or whatever the equivalent is in your local currency, and you can get three months of Game Pass that is what I did and I managed to get the Game Pass for three months and also I just cancelled my future payments so I'm not going to get charged the £7.99 after the three months are over. So do let me know if you guys are going to go ahead with that deal or not and what do you guys think about the new Minecraft launcher and whether you've had any problems installing the new Minecraft launcher or getting the Game Pass to function properly for your Minecraft games. If you like the video please do give us a like and also please do subscribe to the channel to help support to help it grow and i'll see you guys next time thank you for watching